Welcome to the third video in my SynthEdit tutorial series. In this video, we're going to keep working on the basic synth that we got started with in the first couple videos. This time, we're going to add a filter, check out the GUI, and save this as a VST instrument that can be used in your DAW. So, the first thing we want to do is add a filter. A filter can be thought of sort of like a tone control. The filter changes the timbre of the waveform that the oscillator is producing. We're going to add this filter after the oscillator and before the sound out module. So we need to delete the patch cord between these two modules. Right click the window and go to input. Go down to filters and select Moog filter. We need to connect the audio out plug of the oscillator module to the signal plug on the Moog filter. Next, we need to send the output of the Moog filter to our sound out module. What the filter does is use EQ to filter off the frequencies at a specified point. If I push play now, you can hear that the filter has affected our tone. We have two plugs here on the side of the Moog filter. Pitch and resonance. Pitch is the cutoff point of the filter, the frequency where the sound begins to fade out. The resonance adds a little emphasis right at the point of the frequency cutoff. It boosts the frequency right before cutoff. Currently, these are both set to their default values, but we want to specify where the filter cutoff point is, and we want to do it live while the plugin is in use. To do that, we need to add some controls. Last time we used a knob control, but this time let's use a slider. On the side of the Moog filter, we have two plugs, the pitch plug and the resonance plug. So let's add two sliders, and we'll control both of them. Right click the stage, go to insert, go down to controls, and select slider. Since we need a second slider control, we could repeat that process, or we could simply copy and paste the slider we just made. That can save some time during development, especially if you have 10 sliders to add. Next, you're going to want to connect the signal out plugs on the sliders to the pitch and resonance plugs on the Moog filter. Both of these sliders are currently titled slider, which isn't very intuitive. Let's rename them to something that will remind us of what they do. So right click on the slider module and click on properties. Click on the title and rename the slider to Pitch. And as you can see, the slider has been renamed Pitch. Let's do the same for the resonance slider. If I hit play and I adjust the pitch control of the Moog filter, you can hear how the filter cuts off the frequency of the tone. Now, if I turn the resonance way up, you can hear that cutoff point being emphasized as I move the slider up and down. So that is our basic synth. But if you've ever used a VST before, it's never looked like this. That's because each plugin has a GUI, or graphic user interface. To access the GUI for the plugin, right click the project window and select Panel Edit. That brings up this window here. This is what will be displayed in your DAW. You can arrange these items however you like. You just click and drag them. Some items, like this list entry, can be resized. If you click on the list entry item to select it, you can see these little handles on the sides. Drag these to resize. If I hit play, you can see that these controls work in real time as well. One last thing before I show you how to export this as a VST. Before the GOI works correctly, we need to put this entire structure in a container. 
A container is a special type of module that can contain other modules, almost like a folder. We'll look into all this more later, but for now, let's delete the patch cords going to the sound out module. Select everything else and cut it from the window. Right click and go to Insert and select Container. Double click the container and it will open a new window that will contain all of our elements. Paste them inside this container. Now, as you notice, there was a module already inside the container, the I.O. mod. An I.O. mod simply provides the connection from outside the container to inside the container, and vice versa. All we need to do is connect the output of the Moog filter to the spare plug on the I.O. mod. Back in the main window, we see an output plug has been added to the container module. Let's connect that to our sound out module. Now our plugin is ready to be saved as a VST and used inside a DAW. First, save your project. Next, go to File and Save as VST. This brings up the Save as VST dialog box. Let's name our plugin Pitch Controller and set the file name to pitchcontroller.dll. That's it. Just hit OK and synth that it will render the VST plugin. If you get an error, you may need to run synth edit as an administrator. I've got the finished product loaded up here in FL Studio. As you can see, the unregistered version of SynthEdit gives you this very professional looking demo background. You are allowed to change this once you register the program, but regardless of looks, this plugin functions exactly as it did in SynthEdit. So, there you have it. That covers the absolute basics of SynthEdit. In the next video, we'll delve a bit deeper and figure out how to really make some cool stuff. So, until next time, thanks for watching.